SD Pharma is a cannabis company that operates more like a traditional biotech company. I'm joined by the CEO, Raza Bakhari. Raza, congratulations on listing at the NASDAQ. That's something that not a lot of cannabis companies have been able to do. How were you able to accomplish this? Well, thank you, Deborah, for having me back on your program, and a happy new year to you. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, we are now a group in a group of select 12 companies uh, which are Canadian domiciled and are in a cannabis related business. Uh, there are some stringent criteria uh, which uh, primarily besides the financial health uh, and some operating history also requires a very stringent requirement that there is no direct or indirect business, a plant based cannabis related business that the company does in the United States. Uh, also, we had an interest and also believed that the real potential to unlock the potential of cannabinoid molecule, uh, these uh, molecules should run through clinical trials and produce FDA-approved prescription drugs in the same fashion that GW Pharma has been able to do. And in that quest, uh, we have just uh, we acquired a U.S.-based specialty biotech company at the end of Q2 that transformed us essentially into a specialty biotech pharmaceutical company uh, with a growth facility in Canada. Market conditions also uh, have changed. There is a supply glut of cannabis uh, in Canada. So we have responded to that also, which also fits into our overall strategic uh, intent where we have hunkered down on our growth facility and have doubled down on our biosciences effort uh, by uh, opening a biosciences division, which is led by a world-class executive. The reason we are focused on both is that the real potential, as I said, at the risk of being repetitive, is to really look how do you unlock this potential is through clinical trials. And more importantly, as... Uh, Clinicians, we have an appreciation that the CBD molecule targets the CB2 receptor of the endocannabinoid system. There are other compounds like the naturally occurring endorphins that target the CB2 receptor. We acquired uh, a, a rights to uh, licensing rights to prismic acquisition to a micronized formulation of uh, a PEA or a fatty acid called palmitol ethylamide which targets the CB2 receptor of the endocannabinoid system and has properties that uh, minimizes inflammation. And uh, it is those efforts which really drive us. Mm -hmm. uh, we still, uh, as a company, uh, believe that uh, medicinal cannabis has a role. Now, you are doing trials. Uh, these study trials are very expensive. So do you expect that you have the cash on hand to get through phase one or two? Will you, will you have to go back to the capital markets to get to stage three? A, a public company is always raising capital. <laughs> so our hope and aim is, and one of our objectives for uh, this year, uh, is to get our cash on hand which uh, currently is, uh, as of Q3 of 2019, is 7.3 million on hand, plus we raised an additional 4.5 million. But to get in the neighborhood of somewhere of $50 million cash on hand, hopefully uh, we'll be able to achieve this uh, because of now enhanced and elevated uh, visibility being a NASDAQ listed company. And so I have to ask you that symbol, huge, H-U-G-E, who, whose decision was that? What, what was behind that name? The, the credit of that choice goes to the founders, uh, the S and the D of the FSD Pharma. I think uh, they both uh, uh, had picked that symbol. Uh, that is how we listed on Canadian Stock Exchange. Uh, we were also fortunate that that, sing, uh, that uh, same ticker was available. Uh, for NASDAQ and our securities firm, Paul Wise, uh, they did a remarkable job to secure that for us uh, and for NASDAQ to accept that as a symbol. So uh, we are very excited and uh, we see uh, that hopefully our better days are just ahead. Great. That is Raza Bakhari and I am Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report from the NASDAQ Market Site.